This is a transformer and it changes the supply of 240 volts, in my case here in Australia, to a variety of voltages suitable for my laptop. But how does it work? Now this video is part of my review series, please check the link for a fuller explanation of a transformer. Now a transformer is in essence two coils. One coil, called the primary coil, has an alternating voltage connected to it and therefore generates a rate of change of flux. The other coil, the secondary coil, is experiencing this rate of change of flux and therefore will have an induced EMF, or voltage, which is consistent with Faraday's law. Now when connected to a circuit, this results in an induced current. Now what a transformer does is have a different numbers of turns between the two coils. The result is that the output voltage will be different to the input voltage, hence it transforms the voltage. Now if the number of turns in the secondary coil is less than the primary coil, we have a reduction in voltage. And therefore this is referred to as a step down transformer. If the number of turns in the secondary coil is greater than the primary coil, we get an increase in the voltage and thus we call it a step up transformer. Now mathematically it's simple to work out how much the voltage changes by. The ratio between the number of turns from the primary to the secondary is the same as the ratio as the voltage. So what we get is N1 over N2 equals V1 over V2. But what about the current? In an ideal transformer, all the power going in equals the power going out. Now that's the conservation of energy for you. Now that means that because these two have to be the same, therefore the ratio of the currents is the inverse to the ratio of the numbers of turns and the voltage. And so what we have is, so in the case of a step down transformer, even though the voltage decreases, the current increases. In the case of a step up transformer, the voltage increases, but the current decreases. Now I did say we have an ideal transformer. There is no power loss. Although it's not possible to get an increase in power out of the secondary coil, which violates the conservation of energy, we can get a decrease. Why? A transformer is not 100% efficient. Energy is lost due to incomplete flux linkage. Not all the magnetic field lines pass through the secondary coil to generate the EMF. Now this is addressed by using an iron core, which is shown, which increases the flux linkage. But this introduces another source of power loss. Because the iron core is also experiencing a rate of change of flux, eddy currents are formed in the iron core. This causes resistive heating and is a source of power loss. And so as a result, the iron core is laminated. Now this significantly reduces the size of the eddy currents and thereby reduces the resistive heating and thus increases the efficiency of the transformer. Thanks to Simon Crook from Crooked Science for his input into this video. Crooked Science provides professional development for teachers as well as workshops for high school students and details are in the description below. And remember to like, share and subscribe and consider supporting my work by buying me a coffee. The link is also in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Bye for now.